we had a really great team of strong women working on this film and it was it was wonderful but I guess her her gentle quality is one I really found in her and wanted to kind of find and maybe maybe that's something I would have within myself I don't know but yeah <laughs> Genau wie Sie habe ich die Schauermärchen gehört, die man sich von dem Marschmädchen erzählt. Ein verlassenes Kind. Ich hatte mal eine Familie. Sie nannten mich Kaya. Ein kleines Mädchen, das allein in den Sümpfen lebt. Gemieden, verstoßen. You did um, do movies with your former production firm uh, with about mov well, movies about characters with special fates. What was special about this one? This one is a story about a young woman who was abandoned by not only her family, but the man that she loved. And she had to find her strength and her soul, her talents and her will to survive. And all of that for me was very inspiring and I thought would also be an inspirational story for the world today. And um, it's, it's, it's a adapt adaption from a book. So how was working with the author of the book and was there any restrictions or how open were you all in produ producing the movie and the creativity? It was one big family and I am so proud to say how close I am as a friend to Delia Owens and how much a part of this whole production she was. She was very much a part of the script development process. She loved that Daisy was cast as Kaya, thought it was her perfect Kaya. She came to the set. She has a little part in the movie. She's been a, a wonderful, wonderful collaborator in every aspect, and we're really proud of that relationship. Hello, Miss Kaya. Ich hab gehört, Sie kaufen Muscheln. Manchmal fühle ich mich fast unsichtbar. Als wäre ich gar nicht hier. Du bist hier. Du bist wunderschön. Ich würde dich gern besser kennenlernen. And you worked, uh, you worked with Reese Witherspoon on this one. How was the production divided or how was the work? How does that work? Well, it works in many different ways. I mean, we all work together. Our companies are very close. We've had other projects before. I did two movies with Reese, with Walk the Line and Water for Elephants. I've known her for a very long time. So that friendship is very deep. And her partner, Lauren Levy Neustadter, also is someone that I've known for a long time. So the two companies just, we always collaborated. We always talk. We always make sure that everyone's opinions are heard. But for the most part, our visions were the same. And so, you know, when, when you're on the set, there are line producers who are doing the actual physical production work on the movie. And those were also two wonderful women, Betsy Danbury and Rhonda Fair. So we had a really great team of strong women working on this film. And it was, it was wonderful. Uh, as you just mentioned, you had a strong team of women. Do you have any um, advice to people, especially women, who, who are willing or uh, wanting to, to start in production or even acting or in the whole big business? Because it is a big business. It is a, it's a very big business and getting even bigger. And my advice would be to watch every film you can, read every book you can, make yourself as aware of what's going on there artistically in our world. and. Just look for opportunities. There's no opportunity that's too small or that you can't learn something from. And that's what I did in my career and that's what I've always advised all the people that have worked with me. And I've had some fabulous young woman, women come up in the world. <laughs> Keine Fingerabdrücke am Gelände, am Gitter, nirgends. Keine Fingerabdrücke. Isoliert zu sein war eine Sache. Gejagt zu werden. So, um, how did you feel about getting the role and did you know the book before getting the role? So, I was I absolutely thrilled when I found out I got the part and couldn't really believe it. And I actually read the book as I was auditioning for Kaya, so I, I did read it while I was auditioning. So, it was kind of an intense way to read it because I was really thinking about how I'd approach playing her, I guess. So, how much of yourself is in Kaya? Like, did you put anything specific of your character into the character of Kaya? 
nothing like specific, but I think I think you can't really help but always bring a little bit of yourself to every role you play because you know I guess I view the world the way I do because I'm who I am, and so I think with a character, I, I you know I would probably interpret certain things with that bias, you know. But I guess her her gentle quality is one I really found in her and wanted to kind of find, and maybe maybe that's something I would have within myself. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> Sie hat ihn getötet. Ich weiß, Sie haben einen Haufen Gründe, diese Menschen zu hassen. Nein, ich habe sie nie gehasst. Die haben mich gehasst und schikaniert. Sie wollen, dass ich um mein Leben flehe? Das werde ich nicht. Niemand trifft irgendeine Entscheidung für mich. Trotz allen Versuchen, es zu zerstören, das Leben bleibt. Kaya finds herself in a very difficult situation where uh, a couple of people or a whole town is against her. And I think we've got something similar in our like nowadays lives with shitstorms on the internet. I would like to compare it like that. Uh, is there any advice you can give someone uh, who finds her, themselves in such a situation where it seems hopeless? I think, you know, especially when it comes to something like the internet, it's very difficult because it feels very noisy and very loud when you're, you're on it. But then just trying to take yourself out of that arena and switching it off and, and trying to surround yourself with people that make you feel happy and make you feel like you can be your ultimate self and believe in you and, and, and trying to just cut out the noise, I guess, would be my advice. And is there any special moment or something that was difficult while production? I think there was lots of special moments. I mean, some of the sunsets that we saw on set were like, because the colors of the front of the cover of the book are bright orange and pink. And I'd say the sunsets were like the exact same. It was incredible. But yeah, I mean, I just, the filming in that place was amazing. And I feel lucky that I got to spend so much time there. Weit draußen, wo die Flusskrebse sind, ist die Marsch sich einer Sache gewiss. Jedes Geschöpf tut alles, um zu überleben.